Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. <laughs> and we are cooking today. Uh, we're not cooking. We're actually, what are we doing today? We're baking. We're going to bake. I was so excited to get a thing one and thing two. I'm leaving my shirt on because it's snowing and freezing out. Oh. And your microphone, Mommy. My keep, microphone keep, keep, is keep coming it. off with my shirt. Oh. My, I, help I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to proceed. What party is this? I'm going to proceed. <laughs> I'm going to proceed with baking the cupcakes. Even though things are going a little crazy. <laughs> we'll have to check the box, not appropriate for children. Okay. Um, am I, <laughs> can you help her? I'm going to tell you about what we're doing today while she gets her microphone suited up. We're <laughs> going to be cooking out of Be a Plant-Based Woman War. <laughs> can you put your coat on? Oh, and we are, um, it's not gonna, we're going to be making orange lemon cupcakes with lime, lime frosting. frosting. And this is on page 295 if you're following along in our cookbook. And are we all set here? We're all <laughs> set. <laughs> is it going to be rubbing on her shirt? Is that all right? Is it okay? Okay. So we start with uh, flour. You can use whole wheat flour. You can use whole wheat oat flour. You can use whatever blend of flour you'd like. Give it a go. If they don't rise. Jane, I think you should be all bake. Oh, okay. I am all bake. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to have the same thing happen. So I'm just going to be baking, but, um, and uh, now we're going to put in some baking soda and baking powder. And can um, can you help? What's next? Because we need to do the this zest. This cornstarch. Oh, geez, thank you. Okay. Um, cornstarch. Um, and when you get back, I'm going to have you zest the whole orange baking powder right there on the left. Pardon me. That's the wrong kind. It doesn't have. No, Jane. Baking powder. This. She likes the kind this that has is the Hain uh, featherweight baking powder, sodium free. Okay, worth it. It is, yes. And um, so I'm Which going. Which one do I zest? zest? Was it one? Z we're gonna have a zest of one orange in here, and um, we're gonna add in some baking soda and baking powder right now. And the baking powder. What's what's so cool about this again, Molly? This is a. It has no sodium. Yes. Most baking powder, one eighth of a teaspoon is 60 milligrams <clears throat> of sodium. <laughs> how much sodium are you putting in there? A teaspoon? No sodium at all. I mean, <laughs> how much baking powder? That was a quarter teaspoon. Um, and then I'm going to put in about a half teaspoon of baking soda. So it's got a little, it's got lifting action, long lasting action. All right. Oh, this was wet. That's always a bummer. Ooh. Okay, so we've got a lot of our dry ingredients in there, and Anne's going to be helping with the whole um, zest of an orange. I have the hardest job. Yeah, it's, it's a little good arm workout or something. Okay, and then we're also going to do a zest of a lemon after that. Should I do? Oh, I only have one zester going today, so when you finish with that, a lemon. Look into a small lemon, big lemon, up to you. And then. We're going to add some orange juice because that's going to be some of the sweet and some of the um, some of the flavor, obviously, for this this cupcake batter. And it's really runny. Um, we don't have a lot of fluffy white flour in the lofts. Our cupcakes are kind of muffiny, or how would you describe them? Substantial. But they're delicious. Oh, delicious. Okay. So we oh, got well, they're so delicious. That when yes. Jane first brought this to me, and then I tried, I made it. I was home alone, and I found that I ate all of them. All 12. All of them. All 12. Uh, maple syrup. Um, yeah, that, it's, 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 they're, they're, they're small. <clears throat> they're, they're cupcakes, <laughs> but they're, uh, they are so tasty, and you love anything that's lemony or limey or, it's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to add here. About two thirds cup of maple. Of, of yeah, this is called orange juice. Sorry, we got a lot going on here today. So I, do some, I think I'll do more lemon. It's so. The a whole, zest, it's a whole lemon. We just. Oh, okay. I got the it. zest. It. It's so good. The zest is so good because all the power really is in the seeds and I mean in the skins of everything. <laughs> the seeds. This is our lemon seed. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna now. Um, we need to get a third a cup of lemons. So you can keep zesting if you'd like, Mommy, but we got to get a third a cup of lemons. So I'm going to get this, squeeze it in here to, into our third, one third cup. It's probably going to go everywhere but the cup. Oh. 
Oh. Well, this is a better lemon. Is it? Okay. Yeah, that one was cut. That was mostly. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's juicy. It's easier to. Sometimes you can tell how much you're going to get. But yeah, just, that other lemon, I could tell. I don't know. It was why mostly. No, look at look at. It's mostly um. Inside. In, yeah. Outside, I mean skin. Rind and pith. Oh, we could we could we could be done here. Hold on. No, no, don't open. Don't open. Don't don't don't. Don't do that one yet because we've got this one to go yet. Even though it's getting blood from a stone, we're going to get some blood from this. You know what? Hold it over the hold it over the hold that over the bowl, and we'll see because it's going a little bit everywhere. And now it's behaving. All right, I think we got to throw it a cup on me, don't you? Almost. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Come on, Jane. Okay. You know what? I'll, you go. You just, just hold on. Hold on. Sometimes you take some of the ones that you've thought you've exhausted. Oh, oh look my at gosh. that! You've done it. You've done it, Jane. Okay. Holy crow. Good job. Okay. Woo! All right, here we go. Pour it in. Ah! All right. We've got orange juice and orange zest. We've got lemon juice and lemon zest. We've got baking powder and baking soda. And we've got our mix of flours. And the last thing we need in here is just, I think, stir it. Yeah, that's it. We're going to stir this up. Can you actually stir this? I'm going to get our... our um, uh, cupcake pan which lives down here and I don't know what to say about this except that it's like a magic pan <laughs> my mom got this for me oh a couple of years ago from I think I think you got it from a fancy that fancy William Sonoma maybe maybe but it's goldish and it's non-stick and it's wonderful and we've just used it to bits and pieces actually I have two pans um, all right How's that look? Are there lumps and clumps in there still? No, it's, it's lumpless. Lumpless? I have a, I have a scoop somewhere. I have our scooper somewhere. Here. Mm -hmm. Right here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, perfect. Okie doke. So, what we're going to do oops, is scoop. I see, I see how lumps. I, I thought it was lumpless. That was a... I don't know what I maybe I just saw the one wee one that was left. All right, I can see this as all this action mm. happening here. Oh, so it's a shame not to be able to eat it right out of the bowl. Really? Is it good? Delish. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill. Oh, Ann, I'm just getting all kinds of lumps. Well, lumps are good. You should never over. Okay. You want me to? Uh, we're just we're just trying to get your lumps. Um, I've always thought you'd have the lumps in. And you're the one that taught me to cook. No, no. They, you overdo it and then it gets tough. Oh, yeah. That's, and that's true. We are not using a lot of gluten flour in here, though. We've got oat flour mostly in ours today. Um, and we're putting about whatever, with one little ladle full in each of these. I'm going to rotate this now. And... Some people don't like to get the little drags across there. We don't mind. <laughs> the little drags are delicious. Yes, and the little drag um, drips are what inspired me. I was like, God, I just love these crispy little um, things. Did, we didn't do full one. Do you, usually it's a full ladle. Do you, are you not putting full ladle? Yeah, yeah. but I'm just <clears throat> okay, add, add a little bit to each of them. I'm going to talk about the little, the little dribs and drabs because when we were making our last cookbook, when we were making these cupcakes, keep it uh, um, uh, these little things inspired us to make our, oh. our, 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 uh, let me finish my thought. They inspired us to make our vanilla wafer cookies and other cookies that are crispy and really thin because they just come from the batter just being baked like this. So now we're going to bake these for, we're going to bake these for 18 minutes at 350 mm. and, ooh, so good. In they go. Okay. And they have lime frosting. So we're going to make the lime frosting now. So, and keep that, that zesty attitude going because we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna clear the deck for two seconds away. Just swoop, spin it. 
Woo! Woo! We're ready. We've cleared the deck. For and the frosting. We're rest. We're going to make the lime frosting to go with our orange lemon cupcakes. The lime frosting, if you're following along, is on page 307. It's a variation of, the, oh no, <laughs> the lime frosting is the main one. Everything else has a variation. For example, you can do blueberry, blackberry, raspberry, raspberry, strawberry, lemon, lime, chocolate, mint chocolate. I, it, it's endless. You can do I mean, peanut butter. But this is the base right in here. A little we. And please note, I am preparing the limes so they are juicier. Mm -hmm. Let get the, let's get the... Here, I got that. All right. Um, so what the basis of this is, is silken tofu. And silken tofu is different than tofu that you have like in a stir fry or something. Silken tofu is silken. If you don't get silken, you're going to make cat litter. It's going to be lumpy and clumpy and just not at all what you had hoped for. So I put this, I take this tofu, and by the way, it looks like this. <laughs> it it's, looks, it's stiff. No, um, I know, well not, it, it, it comes in a box like this, and it's really, yeah, if you touch it, it sort of collapses. It's um, pretty big, and so when you put it in here overnight, it just, it shrinks quite a bit. It loses a lot of its volume of just the water coming out of it. And I do that because we're going to add maple syrup, which is a liquid sweetener, and it then brings the, the the liquid volume back up. So this is like, I always say this is like um, old school uh, Philadelphia cream cheese kind of stuff. And it's just, it has, it's tasteless. It's ready to adopt whatever you give it, whatever flavor you want to, you know, go with. So we're going to go with lime. All right. And these are, this is about, I wrapped it in one, two, two, three, four, five dish towels. And I left it in there. What's today? I left it in, put in there maybe 36 to 48, eight hours ago. I can't remember if I did it at night or the morning. Um, okay, and this is going to turn Jane, into how much beautiful. lime do you want? Shall I start? So, uh, we'd like to, we just, we zest one, whichever one you want, let's get the full zest of it. So this, I just want to show you, there's nothing in here, it's just the tofu. But it turns into like a clump. It's kind of, maybe the top shot can see. It's sort of like a, I don't know, meat, like, I don't even know what, ricotta cheese? I don't know what to call it. So then we add our maple syrup, and we add a zest of a lime, and then we're going to add the, um, the juice from two limes, which is roughly, I don't know, six tablespoons, would you say, from two it limes? It depends. On, you can't really say a lime because they're so different. They're so different. So two juicy limes juiced. Well, <laughs> oh, I'm getting hungry. And did you hear my belly just then? <laughs> um, I'm so busy gr doing this, I can't hear anything that's coming from your All right, I'm just going to add belly. the lime juice in here because I, oh, that was a good juicy one. Yeah, because I've been making it juicy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, these are so much easier than the lemon. The lemons were well, like we sh I should have prepared the lemons. Oh, look at that. This is just, I feel like I'm, we're like a machine. Do you need more? No, this is like a half a cup. Um, oh, no. That's actually like a third a cup. That's how much we wanted, six tablespoons. All right, in that goes, and we're off to the races. I'm going to swipe down some of the, I see some of the powerful lime zest on the sides. So I'm just going to push some of that down. So well zested. Yes. And the, my mom is the one who, I'm going to talk while this is on. I know it's kind of loud. I'm sorry. We just have to, you have to let it go for a while because it's got to become creamy and uniformly, um, but not to have the little curds in it or something. Anyway, my mom is the one who started, you, you fed this to us oh. decades ago. It was my first, when we started eating this way, lime mousse was like amazing. And yeah, everything else went quiet. from that. Yeah. And um, Jane figured out the way to make it thicker. But it's still, you don't need to put it in those bags. 
you want to have bag. just a, I mean those towels. Oh, towels. If you want to just have a great loose dessert. Oh, this is so yummy. So thick. Okay, let's try it and see if it's, see if it's what we have. I want to try it with a big spoon. And I, I, I look, when he, look at, look at the sample sizes we, look at, <laughs> she got, <laughs> I got the smallest spoon under the drawer. Mmm. Is it's it so right? creamy. Oh, and it's got enough lime in it. Ah. Oh. Oh, oh. Ah. Um, good job, Jane. You know what I'm gonna do? I actually, I know you don't like this, but I'm gonna add a kiss more. No, I, yes. Just a wee kiss. Only because there is, I have made this bazillion and a half times. And there's, a, there's an alchemy that happens. And the alchemy is when the, when the acid of the, of the lime, and the brightness of the lime, and the sweetness of the maple syrup, and the creaminess, and they all, they just, they meet this, it's a perfect point, and I feel like I'm almost there. You're way beyond me. I like it. Anyway. Okay, hold on, I'm just gonna get my sample from here. Try that. Shazam. Still delicious. Well, pff, it's even more delicious. <laughs> All right. So because we do, mm, mm. Okay, now I'm covered with, um, because we knew that we had about 18 minutes to go with the cupcakes, we made cupcakes yesterday, actually for Rip's birthday, and my brother Rip, and we have them here, the ones we didn't eat. It was, it took almost all my might to not eat these, but here they are. Our, our wee cupcakes and the other batch will probably be done when we um, uh, get done. So let's put these on a nice little pedestal and um, frost them and frost them. Yeah. Okay. And these are these are cool because we made them yesterday. And Can you see why it's possible to eat all twelve? Mm, <laughs> maybe if three, four. <laughs> Okay, so let's, we have tovalos, let's start frosting. Okay, and what's so fun is also to think about what to decorate them. I'm gonna get some raspberries um, to put on top. I have some raspberries somewhere in here. I'm coming, Mommy, I'm not abandoning you. No, I'm just thinking it's almost nice to have more frosting than cake. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you've gotta like, I always think of these as having as much, if not more. Was there another povolo? Yes. Someone made it. Someone on uh, one of our videos said, "Stop using those stiff spatulas, and, and use a rubber spatula." I was like, "You don't understand. These things are. This end's a rubber spatula. This end's like a spatula. So there. All and we this need. end, this end that I'm using actually has a spoon-like thing to it. Yeah, and it works like a knife. You can cut an avocado I've with it. I quit using anything but mine. I even use it for stirring. I use it for flipping things. <sighs> okay, the other day she's like, I need a silicone flipper. And I had no idea what she was talking about. You know, she's like, a flipper. And I thought, I was thinking of our kids and swimming and kick. And she went spatula. She's just so used to using Tovalo that you've uh, you've uh, I don't Spatulas use... left your lexicon. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little Woo! raspberry on each of our cupcakes. Oh, we've got six minutes left of our other cupcakes, so we are probably gonna not, look how, we've been so swift here. Wait, I didn't get this one all around. This one had a little wee one, so they're gonna get a double. Look at these merry, merry little bits on this snowy day. And look at, isn't it amazing? This frosting is so good that it doesn't drip. I oh, mean, look, look at this, here. Wait, look at that, please, look at that. It's so thick and creamy, it sticks like frosting. It's different tasting. It doesn't have that fake Betty Crocker, no, Duncan Croc, no. Duncan oh, Hines. Dun that flavor. Okay, time to taste. Wade, Wade, you ready? Oh, these, I've been drooling. Wait, over. wait, no, we're good. Okay, here you go, Wade. 
Nice. There's a lot of frosting. There's a lot of frosting on <laughs> <in> that. No. <laughs> no. Yes. That's the whole thing. The I'm, I'm thing adding more frosting so to good. my bite. I look at look at my bite. Here oh, here you go. Uh, and did you get one? Oh, you pfft. didn't have time to ask her if she got one. She already had one in her mm. mouth. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Oh, one, two, three. Only five to go. <laughs> okay. What do you think, Wade? I don't blame Ann for eating 12 of these. He's, he's got, I mean, they're not frosting all over his I'm mustache. I'm not sure I had frosting on the ones I made. Ah, ah. Mmm. Mmm. So go big. Mm. So big. Bake. Go bake your own mm. orange lemon cupcakes with lime frosting. Or maybe change it up. Maybe do lemon lime cupcakes with orange frosting. Or orange lime cupcakes with lemon frosting. Or you could do strawberry or chocolate. But no, keep them lemon lime. Yeah, this is good. All right, All cheers. Right. Go bake. Mm. Delish. <laughs>